would like to ask you whether you understood the last lecture see uh, only the medium is different class remains remains a class only so i am not uh, here as a direct teacher means teaching you face to face yet i think you are able to understand me so i asked you did you attend the last lecture because very much related to the lecture which i will deliver today or share my views chat is enough chat box you can write have you gone through the lecture last interaction okay fine okay okay only four has four yes replied is okay if you could not you can tell me because sir has already uploaded over the youtube so you can cancel that okay okay fine now next question is didn't you feel the problem of some problems are there when uh, problems related to the ideas of elthic uh, and uh, some issues might remain undiscussed and uh, you might not raise an equation but later you might have some your, your own opinion about the traditional approaches i call that elthic has a traditional approach because many things have been added after his uh, uh, his ideas that he has projected in his book okay so i i just want to know about the problems which you could screen while i was trying to defend defend i would uh, i i use the word try because i, I try my level best to defend this thesis uh, about uh, about what uh, the difference is in between the researcher and a scholar and how the life of a scholar should be continued and how he should interact with people and the objects of the universe how he or she should uh, incorporate knowledge and other things like wisdom together okay so uh, but uh, i have screened many problems i i, I could not later in the night last night i could not sleep out of out of what i have defended last day i don't know did you sleep whether you slept <laughs> you enjoyed your night or not but i could not sleep throughout night i kept on thinking whether elthic was right and i could defend him <laughs> so uh, you people are the future teachers and professors of the concern department somewhere i wish so i would like to ask you if you have any problem and uh, i just want to know whether that problem is being matched with the problem i am uh, with so please one two someone uh, names are there i would like to interact miss pumal is there pooja trivedi tamsa ahuti and namrata please respond to some respond uh, quickly whether you have any problem what do you agree when i was defending him in fact i was defending him no issue please you reply please reply okay no issue uh fine it means that some <laughs> one way teaching okay, is going okay, on me, I uh, okay uh, rahman sir let me add something so by the time they can think and if they come with an idea they can share like yes. there is an idea of a uh, uh, publish or perish so uh, eltic uh, seems to be very critical of uh, connecting uh, publication and research with salary and promotions he said that right, very right, right. yeah very right in the chapter 9 he talks about the patenting and uh, open source right and uh, there he has different differentiated why humanities people are not being patented why their thoughts are explored 
uh, across the countries without any uh, profit uh, being added to the writer and the authors. You are very right. This is the spirit, sir. This is what the spirit of humanities research. When you explore knowledge system without uh, without without taking care of what return is being uh, means being, uh, you are getting the return or not doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, this is one of the points which should be appreciated, which uh, uh, LTIC has uh, defended in the chapter 9. You are very right. Very right. But there are other issues which uh, should be discussed very seriously. Uh, and uh, rather, I would like to say we should reverse what we have already done last day. Okay. And uh, in that process, only we will come to know what is going on today. What is the principle of uh, the arts doing research in literature these days. Okay, so this is the major issue of my yes, I question regarding the topic publishing that is very important in present time and LT discussed in different way. You are very right, I have already explained to you. Uh, that's why I said to you that we have to reverse, <laughs> we, we have to reverse our thinking that that was oriented by reading LT. LT wrote this book in 30s and 40s and published it. You, you must know that time was the time of T.S. Eliot, that time was the time of W.B. Yeats, that time was the time of uh, 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 anthropological uh, uh, implications over literary studies, the psychological and psychoanalytical implications over, the, over literary studies. So somewhere, right, and he was also influenced by the moral principles of uh, Matthew Arnold's criticism, right. So. Uh, he uh, tried to explain somewhere idealistic approach that he had somewhere in his mind toward the research, right? But we are beyond idealism of doing research. As you have questioned, Mishpuda, that I have a question, you have questioned that the publishing is important present time, Eldic discussed different way. You are very right. That's why I'm saying that we have to reverse our our. our way you will see how you should develop the research IQ I would like to say research IQ in you right uh, now uh, would like to uh, share uh, a PPT with you uh, the same PPT is but I have extended and you will see that how I have I have reversed the entire hypothesis and the emphasis that I had yesterday in your mind and now I am going to bitterly criticize uh, uh, LTIC's vision because uh, these things are not working these days, the day, the things that he has explained in his book. He was too idealistic to explain the practical aspects of what research is going on present time. Right. We are beyond it. So that is the uh, this is the one of the one of the most important points that I shall discuss today and will uh, come to. Uh, let you know how really how to read a book, how to read an article, because re reading is very, very important. The way you read, the way you uh, formulate your perspective toward the reading, whether you go beyond the perspective you are getting formulated or not, okay, it depends. But somewhere these things, these happenings are very important to consider again and again. Okay, so uh, uh, let me share this PPT with you people. Uh, you will come to know how uh, I am now, how, how I am not a LT uh, person at all, and uh, we are going beyond his principles. Yesterday I talked about vocation, the ability or the eligibility or the qualification or say the talent to carry a tag as a researcher. I talked about research scholar and critic, curiosity, critical mindset, enlightenment of criticism, and all with special reference to the chapters of Elpik's book. Right. I did not borrow the idea, let me confess, from Elpik. I am not talking about him. I'm talking about what is going on. But my compulsion was to give references of these items because this is the way of reading and this is the only way of writing that the writing that you write something when you read when you come to come come to some conclusions out of your reading right but what that reading should be how that reading should be 
we, you will learn here in this uh, uh, in this uh, in this talk. Okay. I have already talked about these four, so uh, I have improvised some ideas uh, which I had not included yesterday because that was not the part of the yesterday talk. Okay. Uh, I will talk now. I I, I show you how I have uh, uh, reverse back. Okay. Uh, the entire talk. Okay. If you see the entire talk which I could uh, could could explore yesterday before you. Okay. It was about art of literary studies. You must be art of studies lies with thinking in and on data, facts, genesis, history. I talked. And these these were the issues only which uh, somewhere which was explored by L. T. in his book, right? And he was emphatically saying, repeatedly saying uh, about these things in terms of how to read literature and how to work in literature, how to conduct and do uh, research in literary field. So, but here I have added one thing in terms of what should be the art of literary study today i wrote art of literary studies lies not only with thinking in not only with thinking on but beyond data facts genesis and history unless you read a book of history a non-literary piece of writing okay uh, history is entirely different from that is also a writing but that is that that history is a writing of uh, chronological uh, happenings, incidents uh, of, of a particular uh, uh, realm uh, of a particular time or a particular period. Whereas literary is beyond historical facts, right? So if you limit yourself to the data of literature or the data of the history or the genesis about about how that work, the, that the work of art uh, was explored, right? somewhere you are not going to justify the uh, originality of yourself with that book why because the contained materials are available everywhere but what about that material which comes from you which comes from your mind which comes from your imaginative faculty for which you stand among the literary people among the literary critics among the literary researchers okay so uh, you have to go beyond data facts and genesis when you talk about data facts genesis and history you are talking about the realistic approach towards literature okay henry james was one of the one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, followers of this realism okay to some extent ts eliot was also a follower of realism okay in fact the entire modern approach towards literary reading okay was was somewhere was advocating the realistic approach to literature and literary studies right but what happened beyond that modern time postmodernity came postmodernity came why because of rereading the data rereading the genesis rereading the history and then pasticha came into being collage writing came into being okay uh, some some historical facts which have never been been uh, enlightened through reading responses that came into being right so we came came out of the out of the dark ages that i, I calculate as as a reader of literature and literary history that uh, the dark ages means that was still modern time would like to say because till modern time there was there were limited limited uh, thought processes okay uh, that were established by limited people okay to see and to judge to evaluate okay to work in a work of art or in the field of literature but what happened beyond that in in the 80s in in the in, at the end of 80s of 20th century orientalism like book came culture and imperialism book came right and before that uh, sigmund freud has revolutionized the entire idea of uh, psycho uh, entire idea of looking at literature how can we forget these perspectives marx marx was someone who influenced the entire world with the wisdom of 
uh, uh, dialectical materialism and dialectical socialism or dialectical thought patterns came into being and respect of each time every time the respect that one one must take care of respect to the to each uh, phase of dialecticism so 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 uh, this idea of marx has also influenced the entire uh, uh, entire entire say uh, entire system of uh, literary responses what about them and these things are beyond the data i am telling you these things are beyond the facts okay there are there are there are books i would uh, like to uh recommend you to read the book ts let us say, take example ts eliot's uh, four quatrains okay or say one of the lightest works of ts eliot's career the wasteland i i, I calculate the lightest work because because of the collage system was or literary collage uh, it, the, the work is full of literary collage full of jargons full of references and contexts and full of pasticha okay one of the leading works in modern literature do you find the facts in that book do you find the facts in in uh, facts of uh, history in that work of art what kind of facts are there if you find facts are those facts equivalent to the facts eltik is talking about in his book you will say no the facts are different the way facts are expressed is is different okay second example would like to give you inesco's the chair okay the drama and other absurd theaters jazz books jazz writing okay do you think that these books are having or these creative artists are having exact facts of some kind of uh, some kind of uh, information or some informative facts do they have if they have that informative facts highly they are symbolized they have symbolized that fact and you cannot dare you dare not to reach that the meaning out of the symbolized facts if you read uh, seven types of ambiguities by william impson you must read this is must read book okay as a research scholar you must take this book as challenge okay whether you can understand seven types of ambiguities or not and maybe ambiguities itself okay uh, uh today uh, by your research uh, research guide uh, or uh, by by the common people or common, common literary uh, professor okay ambiguities are always declined criticized bitterly condemned and ambiguities have been thought as stylistic problems in someone's writing but impson being the student of i richards like personality right he enjoyed ambiguities wrote that that thick book on seven types of ambiguities the entire all the chapters are full of you know mathematical equations okay full of references with mathematical equations that book really challenge your mindset what kind of facts will you derive from such books what kind of facts and i would like to uh run a video for five minutes only right and uh, i would come to know and you would come to know uh whether facts work or not okay and how we, you will find the uh the the uh the entire idea of uh, genesis of this uh, kind of uh, works and uh, uh, literary or artistic uh, works i am showing you a uh, uh, video and uh, if, if you can see it are you able to see this yes we are able to yeah yes 
see uh, i have extracted this from the waiting for goto okay and the long speech of lucky you see and i i hope you have gone through this work you see there is no quotation i talked about no system no grammar at all and i am i'm telling you that you will not be able to understand even a single line the words are not used properly okay okay very poorly very very symbolically the author has uh, significantly referred to some kind of facts of life but that has not been explained in the way it can reflect the facts of life see no nothing no punctuation at all and this speech has been narrated or say enacted by uh by the actors okay and total words are 7 to 8 728 words are and in between you find except some spaces like this okay you don't find any kind of punctuations and commas no punctuation at all no full stop nothing and there are the repetition of some important words if you make this into computational tools and you study it and make a kind of a, a, a cloud representation through computation then you will find that alas is repeatedly used okay unknown reasons are repeatedly used resume is used spite is used tennis is used unfinished is used okay these words are okay uh, repeatedly used therefore here computer or uh, the app has shown you the uh, words with uh, headings okay and the more uh, highlight is there on a particular word in this word uh, cloud representation of the of the entire lucky speech means these words are repeatedly used and emphatically used but you don't find any facts in it will you say this literature is fake then where is eltic eltic idea will not work at all here what data you are you are you are uh, squeezing from what you are retrieving from no you are nothing you will say that i am not able to understand unless you unless you unless you attend someone's lecture okay to clarify it. unless you read some of the books to clarify it okay the dictionary will not tell you at all dictionary is full of facts and exact 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 meaning of the words genesis of a word history of a word okay but in that compilation you will not be able to find any meaning of a single word used by lucky will you say this uh, this uh, literature is uh, uh, worthless literature and how can it be calculated worthless if it doesn't have and because simply because it doesn't have genesis it doesn't have a concrete form of genesis in itself okay now uh, uh, i'm i'm going to show you this uh, video have you seen it are you seeing this are you seeing this yes no yes, yes we are seeing yeah yes please uh, go through it existence as uttered forth in the public works of puncher and what man of a personal god qua 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 with white beard qua 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 outside time without extension who from the heights of divine apathia divine athambia divine aphasia loves us dearly with some exceptions for reasons unknown but time will tell to suffer like the divine miranda with those who for reasons unknown but time will tell a plunge in torment 
plunged in fire, whose fire flames, if that continues and look at death, will fire the firmament, that is to say, blast hell to heaven. So, blue, still, and calm. So calm for the calm, which, even though intermittent, is better than nothing, but not so fast. And considering what is more, that as a result of the labors left unfinished, proud by the Academy of Anthropometry of Essie and Posse of Chesu and Cunard, it is established beyond all doubt, all other doubt than that which clings to the labors of men, that as a result of the labors unfinished of Chesu and Cunard, it is established as hereinafter, but not so fast, for reasons unknown, that as a result of the public works of Puncher and Botman, it is established beyond all doubt, that in view of the labors of Bartov and Belcher left unfinished for reasons unknown. Not test you and Cunard left unfinished. It is established what many deny that man and posse of test you and Cunard, that man and Essie, the man and Shaw, the man and Brief, in spite of the strides of alimentation and defecation, seem to waste and pie. Waste and pie, and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown. In spite of the strides of physical culture, the practice of sports such as tennis, football, running, cycling, swimming, climbing, floating, riding, gliding, conating, commoting, skating, tennis of all kinds, dying, flying, sports of all sorts, autumn, summer, winter, winter, tennis of all kinds, hockey of all sorts, penicillin and succedania, in a word, I resume, and concurrently, simultaneously, for reasons unknown, to shrink and dwindle. In spite of the tense, I resume flying, gliding, golf over nine and eighteen holes, tennis of all sorts, in a word, for reasons unknown, in peckham, peckham, fulham, clapham, namely concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, but time will tell, to shrink and dwindle. I resume, Fulham, Clapham, in a worth of dead loss per capita since the death of Bishop Mark giving to the tune of one inch four ounce per capita, approximately by and large, more or less, to the nearest decimal good measure, round figure, stark naked in a stocking, feet in Connemara, in a word, for reasons unknown, no matter what matter, the facts are there. Considering what is more, much more grave, than the light of the labors lost of Steinbeck and Peterman, it appears what is more, much more grave, than the light, the light, the light of the labors lost of Steinbeck and Peterman, than in the plains, in the mountains, by the seas, by the rivers, running water, running fire, the air is the same, and then the earth, then the air, and then the earth, the great cold, the great dark, the air and the earth are bone of stone, from the great cold, the last and last year, the Lord takes out and something, the air, the earth, the sea, the earth are bone of stone, from the great cold, the great deep, on sea, on land, and in the air, I resume, for reasons of known, let's fight for the tennis, the Back to the time will tell. I resume the last of us. Oh, I'm on in short decline. Oh, I'm on the bone of stone. So come down. I resume the last of that. I resume the sculpture shake and waste. I can currently simultaneously what more priests are known as fight of the tennis. Oh, I'm on the beer and the flames. The tear and the stones of blues of camel. Oh, I'm on the skull, the skull, the skull. The skull in Connemara in spite of the tennis. The labor's abandoned, left unfinished. Grave are still a bone of stone. In a word, I resume the last of us. Abandoned, unfinished. The skull, the skull in Connemara in spite of the tennis. The you can derive from such kind of speech. This uh, film in which uh, the entire uh, entire dialogue of which I have shown you in the word form has been spoken by a character Lucky. Right. What kind of data, what kind of genesis that you can means you can you can you can you can you find any kind of genesis in this and the entire drama when you go through it you don't find any kind of genesis in it does it have any genesis the story of two trends waiting for someone and that person doesn't come that's it that person doesn't come so uh when you talk of facts when you talk of data when you talk of genesis when you talk of history 
you talk of some relevancies okay with some some contexts of your work of art but there are literatures i would like to use plural there are literatures which are beyond these things and when you come to know come to know about the the the, the such such kind of literatures you stuck you keep mum you, you you have nothing to speak if i ask you what kind of what kind of meaning that you could draw from this speech i would fail to find any response i i go i even fail to find any response can anyone tell about this 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 short a uh, narration or say dialogue what does the author convey is what does he want to convey what is the meaning in it where is the facts and especially though i, I welcome those students uh, uh, replications or uh, ideas who have already gone with this uh, absurd play one answer any one answer anyone can answer what is the idea behind such kind of creation or creativity when you in front of you some person is speaking and he is not able to be understood by you and the entire drama of the play gets finished what is the meaning in it what is meaning recently a film was there i am not i am just showing you how literary studies now okay uh, it, it is expanding okay it's a horizon recently a film was there chichure most of you have watched or might have watched i don't know and you go in the theater you come outside what is there in that is there any neurocognitive understanding of that play or of that film did you call anything did you borrow anything did you go, did you get any information any facts related to the creation of that film and why that film was there trying to say you that literary studies are now going beyond the facts okay and we have a classical examples would like to say you ulysses please go through it ulysses of james joyce in modern time such kind of work beyond explanation no facts are there if you try to find facts you have to go you have to go inside it you have to consult many books to get the facts find such kind of new logisms which james joyce has 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 uh, uh, used as mechanism of narration where is the fact so ethics uh, and uh, if you you if you take uh, as a, a research topic if you take that there is works for example foucault's work lacan's work to work with their works means if you want to do your doctoral phd with them because they also come in literary studies you cannot you cannot do your phd without literary theories and for applying literary theories you have to understand these philosophers of literature and literary studies and not even a single word if or not even a single sentence is having facts concretely i am telling you for example when derrida says text is nothing full stop and further he says text is a gas full stop and then he says text nothing is outside the text what kind of facts you will find out of these sentences these sentences are all grammatical sentences i am telling you broken sentences in india if you write in this way people will say you you don't know english they criticize you bitterly for your broken uh, sentences incomplete sentences etc but but people enjoy the indian writings because of the direct implications of truth is being derived by reading them there are the uh, book so reputation is there by deluge i am telling you he talked about he talks about resume and this is biological word and he dragged that word from biology and medical sciences to literary field he was a revolutionary person he was if you try to find out the facts behind it and i am telling you you fail to find the facts behind the writings of such people 
trying to say you and i mean to say that eltik may have his idea in a book that you must find the data you must find the facts you must find the genesis you must understand the history before reading but somewhere if you do it okay and if you limit to them only you are not going to justify with the literature of today literature of today especially the literatures which have been developed or uh, published after 1920 and 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 it's still uh, still such kind of works are means being published and uh, uh, people uh, get step back and they don't want to touch it why because there is no concrete data there is no, no concrete facts there is no concrete genesis <coughs> recent example is salman rushdie's autobiography okay joseph and tom it's a faction it's a, a it's a to buyer if i if you know you believe in new logism it's a to buyer okay uh if you go through this book this autobiography as, as he claims that it is a kind of memoir of uh, the writer himself you will not find i'm telling you you will find very little facts about what has happened in his life in that memoir I, I, what i'm trying what what i mean to say is that these facts these data the genesis history if you limit yourself to it you are not going to enjoy the meaning in between two words or in between the lines entirely not so uh if you see what is the reverse what what you have seen what you have seen here that i was advocating last day much emphasizing you to read him of course you should read him of course you should go through him and you may also follow some of the some of the principles of eltic as a researcher but you have to be critical to some points okay you have to deny also and you have to overshadow also and how can you reverse and in the way i reverse him i am explaining you yesterday i talked about in reference to eltics that no poet no artist of any sort has his complete meaning unknown okay and i i i, I explained the relevances of uh, this particular word to investigation of facts truth of men and event responsible scholars therefore see every chance they get to correct misstatement before they can root and grow okay and to avoid distortion only these were the words that i used yesterday in, in the yesterday talk in terms of how can you be a follower of the principles of eltic okay as a researcher but today is what what is today now you have to believe there is no complete meaning at all and if i say you about contemporary literature i am telling you there is no meaning at all and i have given you the example i have given you the example of the literature of absurd here only the speech of lucky there is no meaning at all unless you being a researcher try to find meaning in it using your brain your knowledge your wisdom independently to find the meaning uh in in the in the speech of lucky or the like literary strains or the like literary uh, books or paragraphs or uh, visualization or, uh, or 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 films work of art is no more why because work of art is no more an art at all what is art it must have aesthetics there are literatures which divided off aesthetics what is aesthetics that is a theory of beauty you like it universal beauty is there everybody likes how many people will like ulysses how many people will like the waiting for god how many people will like hamlet's temperament and why do you read hamlet if there is no existence of hamlet mindset in this society there is truth 
about Hamlet and Hamlet exists in our society. That's why we are reading to find the similar cases like Hamlet. Hamlet is there in our society. Therefore, so what is work of art? If you are trying to find out aesthetics, if you are trying to find out uh, a system, if you're trying to find out syntax, if you're trying to find out style, and these things are only going to influence your mind you say what a beautiful thing but have you ever thought which is not appealing you is also beautiful their objectivity is required okay your likeness your dislikeness your criticism your condemnation your appreciation your judgment your assessment is always such a subjective but when you say that apart from these likes, dislikes, assessment, judgment, etc., etc., then time will tell. Reputation of the word in lucky speech. Time will tell. And I resume. You, 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 I, I'm just symbolically telling you the meaning of his speech. Work of art is no more an art. And here you are reversing Celtic when you think that research is a kind of art. It is beyond art. Okay, it is beyond art. Okay, work of art. It is beyond beauty. I am telling you, beauty is entirely subjective. It is beyond truth. If you do a an investigative research in literature, a society-based literature, okay, a social scientific-based literature, literary studies, then I am telling you, you have to take help of statistics statistics or you you need to a statistical analysis based on the facts that you find is spread over the societies so if you reverse art is going beyond what Eltic has already said work of art is no more in art only but has become text text Everything is text. When Zach Derrida says that everything is text, and whatever we are now, we are after Zach Derrida. I'm telling you, and you have to realize this: that you are after Zach Derrida. You are living in a world after Deleuze. You are living in a world after Zach Derrida. You are living in a world of Kumar Swami. You are living in a world where you think that you have come from. Uh, you have come away from the traditional approaches to literature. What is the traditional approach to literature? You start trying to find, you start finding what? Representation of the society. And what kind of society? As society is itself. And there, realistic approach fails. Because as the society is, so writing cannot be. It is not possible. And for, for, for demoralizing, isn't this concept of realism therefore aestheticism came into being okay and which, which professes that beauty is more important truth is more important imagination is more important for making literature a literature not a social facts not a data only but but contemporary research is beyond these two neither data nor aesthetics what is aesthetics and the beautiful line is of uh, Wordsworth in beholder's eyes. But I am debating now or I am trying to here spread some kind of seed in you to make a self debate. OK, to make yourself in a self debate. What beholder is and what do you see? If you see what kind of beholding is that, what kind of perspective through which beholding is possible? Watching is possible. What is mind is there behind that? What is brain is there behind that? What are the neurological factors that drive your brain, your mind to con and conduct and behavior to perceive the meaning of a particular text? Many things are there. So what kind of data you will search? And therefore, looking at it only and these facts, contemporary, contemporary theorists and literary researchers have gone far from traditional approaches like Eltic tries to define in his book. Texture. You must understand what is this. Texture. Interwoven. Intertextualities came into being. No poet, no artist of any sort has his complete meaning alone. But when you talk about texture, when you talk about text, when you talk about from work to text, then you have to understand 
that not only a poet not only an artist everything is a kind of text even the chair is itself a kind of text this laptop is a text for you because you are trying to derive some meaning from it you are trying to derive a live meaning from a dead thing insensitive thing and what happens what is the significance of such kind of uh, activities to adopt distortions these days in moral days distortion used not to allow used not to be allowed no it should not be distorted truth should be explained in form of truth but what is happening today where is truth where is the practicality you have to take care matthew arnold says about seriousness and moral habits moral habits of mind and these things should be projected in literary art and only these things should be explained by a literary critic but only these things can comic activity not possible is it important to be serious what is the seriousness in art so today's demand is the more you destroy not to destroy something from its root but to destroy what should be destroyed to develop new things so to adopt distortions i told you about manu smriti yesterday that most of people do not know about any shloka of manu smriti they have not consulted even even they don't know who has created this and what is the work and who who is the writer of this or compiler of this work and when it was compiled and who has compiled in what circumstances it was compiled and how many chants and those shlokas are there or the verse lines are there and what kind of poetic uh, 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 language used by uh, the writer or the compiler few knows but almost everyone criticizes the lines from maras manons and most of you are quoting the lines that really demoralize the entire idea of manuscript i'm not favoring anything i'm becoming just objective and i'm teaching you to become objective at the time of doing research even you should deny yourself when you are becoming more subjective you have to deny yourself i was more subjective yesterday but today i am not at all subjective i don't know even i had not prepared so many things because somewhere preparedness makes not you or let you not become objective you have decided what to speak what not to speak etc so if you see the significance of these 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 uh, these uh, reverse uh, 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 uh these reverse uh, ideas means you mean so uh, i mean to say uh the ideas which we are trying to uh formulate as reverse ideas to the ideas of eltic what is the significance you have to understand the significance is that you start respecting distortions unless you distort but what to distort you have to distort the distortions to find out new new meanings out of your distortions and to give new system of meaning to the system of knowledge it is not letting you uh, go out Inside the distortion, and he criticizes the person who distorts the facts and who is overlooking the facts and data. Right, but I am not asking you to uh, get away from distortion. You have to look upon distortions, okay? Because there are many distortions have already been done before you opt for a particular topic, right? And as a distorter, you have to distort those distorters, right, to find out a new truth, to establish a new truth, and then in that way, right, you can be able to uh, establish democratic thought process through your research work. So the let distortion in the yeah rahman sir to, uh, yes yeah uh, there is a the battery is low we got a message from one of the participants that your battery is displaying low so you can put it on charger yeah. so uh, uh okay sir thank you so uh, you may see that uh, how uh, i am trying to uh, make you aware of uh, the value of distortion 
why ethics does not support you to see your work distorted at all and somewhere somewhere you are now trying to establish a deconstructive approach toward the uh, toward reading a work of art and applying the work of art Thanks for reminding me, and uh, uh, I hope uh, 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 you might have uh, understood the value of reversing the or flipping the entire uh, concept. Uh, once you uh, understand the concept of any writer, you have to understand first what he is saying. how he has represented the idea then you should use your mind and brain to fit the idea right and establish a parallel structure structure okay just at the edge of it to that idea and you go on it and you go on it right so uh, and this is this is i i would like to say you this is one of the ways this is one of the ways of uh, uh doing the research or pursuing research unless you try to understand the concept of others and without understanding uh, someone if you try to criticize without understanding the context you have to take care of and this view but you should not limit to the elitic view you have to understand that literary responses come from you right individually Okay, in distinctively, distinctively, they come separately. They come only. They come when when you use your mind and brain, and then at that time you start constructing. You start making a similar, a parallel structure to what has already been established as norms in the in the in the field of uh, knowledge or in the system of knowledge. Okay, so uh, with this uh, uh, slide, uh, I. I uh, I, I mean a lot uh, about uh, about how you should carry over your research, how to opt for the topic, and how to read a book, and how to uh, understand that book, and then how to deny that understanding, and then how to conceptualize a new understanding, and how to develop a new or parallel approach, bro, of yours, okay, of yours perspective, perspective towards. towards uh, the literary uh, arts or uh, literature uh now uh if you let me i would like to uh, speak only 5 minutes yeah okay no problems yes uh and uh, this is because uh, i told you the importance of understanding first understanding the text is important work is important so few words are there because uh, you have to know what you are going to deny and why you are going to deny otherwise aisa hi hota hai ki kisi se mile bhi nahi hai aur kisi ne pucha ki wo to bahut badmash aadmi hai to aapne kaha bilkul sahi aapne bola wo to bahut badmash aadmi hai and you don't know about that man also but someone someone is saying something and you say this so somewhere your yes only the word yes when you say it more like this someone someone entire personality so you have to take care why you are going to say yes and you don't know about that person right so in the same way books are books are the people books are the ages books are the civilizations books are your brain books are your neurological functionaries i'm telling you mechanism of your life then you have to take care of these things okay when you take a book you are taking a new life right you are taking a new beautiful thing or creature in your hand and ah, you have to take care of that okay and and you have to be very very much careful at each particular word okay especially those words which have not been attended by author and critic himself for example if you go through this walter's uh, Uh, essay on feminism. There are many words which she has not explained. I emailed her. 
many a times i have also received information from that yet i am not satisfied with the informations that she see she wrote back to me why because the idea which she could generate and and then with me very much critical here towards her idea she generated well but the way words she has used remain unexplained but i'm telling you these western thinkers are very 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 much conscious of their styles and that's why that's why they defend their style though the styles are curtled incomplete and not understandable you know this is the, this is what the difference between the western intellectualism and eastern intellectualism we believe in completion they believe in incompletion we believe in perfection they believe in imperfection they, we believe in something that is structured grammatical okay concrete understandable they believe in mysticism spurious things and suspicious things the more they are mystic the more they are fake this was the reason once uh, uh, recently there was a uh, international congress on deleuze and uh, a french critic was explaining some ideas there in delhi uh, 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 she was explaining about the western tradition of intellectualism and it was entirely not entirely not i could not imbibe the idea she was speaking in a way and she was a french woman she was not able to speak up in a single sentence in english concretely yet people were celebrating her speech only because of the skill and because of the play she belongs to but i was the first person to 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 react against the kind of ideas she was trying to establish there in the conference and i asked what is the similarities of the western intellectualism can you explain in terms of indian first or indian scenarios i am telling you why i am asking you i am uh, just giving you the, these explanations or these uh, citations of my life because because you have to be critical you have to see something from a penny nigar jo hamare yahan kehte hain hindi mein you have to be very very much sensible to uh, towards listening to someone you must have follow up some critical approaches you must develop your critical theory your critical style your critical outlook and you have to establish that unless you establish in your phd work you are no more a phd scholar i'm telling you and you will do it only when you go beyond these data understanding the data beyond these genesis understanding the genesis beyond the history of the literature right and at the same time you go and you understand and shape when you go be thank you very much you see here uh, many things are there in i have put it from scholars like okay love of books and consuming interest in the intellectual and aesthetic questions why only intellectual and aesthetics can't we have beyond ideas these aestheticism and these intellectualism have bored people okay can we find the love of books to be content of the books or the ideas of the books in the society itself do we have any character at my home do we have characters as such characters which whom i am reading in the book in the society can we have some problems the same problem the similar problems okay in the society then you will relate your literary understanding to the contemporary situation of the country contemporary situation and the problems of this nation and then you go ahead with your research work and in that way you contribute to the society not to the library and to your university so when you conduct your research when you do your research you have to find out when is there any similarities of this kind of theme do you find that kind of theme in the society if you find how can you improve it but what do you do the traditional approach say you have to appreciate this work you have to understand this work okay and then you complete your task you have used so many quotations and recitations and references in order to justify your point and you close your thesis and you are you you defend the points have you used any new word in your phd thesis can you use any new word 
and that word is not for the word say the word compels you the entire concept compels you the, the entire thesis compels you the testing of hypothesis compel you to create new words because there is no word at all in the dictionary for packaging your idea your concept then you have to understand you are beyond you are beyond eltic traditionalism love of books fine love of books means philosopher what loves book means he is philosopher okay and philosopher is beyond he is amoebic i told you i have used word amoebic direction when he speaks the idea is not being taken by some certain people ideas can be implemented in any of the fields today construction is applied in chemistry i am writing a book on it and it has been accepted uh in chemistry in physics it is being impl implemented in the field of technology okay where literary ideas are not where literary ideas are not being implemented but humanities are not protected at all by technocrats because they go they are richest humanities are richest that's why only because of the richestness is there okay that's what you people can save humanity you people can make humanities from qualitative to quantitative study you have to approach right you have to use some kind of tool you are not talking about beyond anything okay literature is fine you have explained have you used any computation part did you use any statistical part have you used any statistical tool okay okay beyond these tools which have already been spoken and are told by the traditional traditional literary people and researchers okay they both make brothers of men with amazingly different background and tastes how many people are there of your taste and why to meet only with the people of taste why not to meet a people who is not having any taste the third line in this scholarship there is no is born of national origin creed color and social class but the literature is there feminist literature is there are they not biased so if you believe only on eltic philosophy that only these things are going to establish you as a scholar not at all not at all at all not next line we live in a twist democracy of all the democracy of the intellect yes we live in a world of democracy of the intellect therefore we have to give go beyond the eltic idea itself when he has already used democracy of intellect okay so now at least 100 years back this book was published and in 100 years in this duration we have did a lot so don't only follow the eltic idea right go beyond it try to find out those things which are not experimented at this time and you are first second or third person okay for researcher to experiment with and you are trying to give a new dimension to your research and etc you try to use some digital tools you try to use so many books like you should use uh, a book based on cognitive science for reading literature why don't you you should read psychology in order to understand the entire theory of psychology the entire encyclopedia of psychology should be known to a person of literature so the entire cognitive science should be somewhere should be intersected with literary studies why do you not intersect the technological uh, uh, knowledge with the literature only when you are going beyond the data and the new way to find the data new way to visualize the data new way to explain and disseminate the knowledge system through your data explanation thank you very much sir thank you all and uh, i'm uh, uh, coming back to the uh, talk and this uh, some of the students have Even so, I think uh, uh, okay, okay, I, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, fine. There is no uh, question as such. Now, questions, please. Yes. Anybody has any question or anything that you want to discuss? Then you can ask here.
Okay, I think there, there are no questions uh, uh, from the scholars. Uh, so uh, it was very good. Like uh, 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 very interestingly, you you questioned uh, uh, the, the very idea that you framed yesterday, uh, and uh, it was good to see that how we do not become a kind of a believer into any of those things we read, but we question back uh, and we try to deconstruct or try to see uh, distortion, not for the sake of distortion, but to recreate, uh, to create something new, uh, to come out for a new idea. For that purpose, uh, otherwise the research is of no use also. So it was very interesting uh, way that you have put uh, this idea here. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Rahman sir. Uh, again, if we will need you and your expertise, we will invite you for some kinds of talks. <laughs> yeah. In some webinars or seminars or such academic deliberations. We'll I, I, would on having... you, I would request you to contribute. Uh, uh, I am uh, uh, inviting you to.